First, let's set the default measurement parameters by double tapping the preset button. Then, let's select the start and stop frequencies. The level menu can be accessed from the main menu by pressing the corresponding button. Here you have several options. Let's start with LNA, which stands for Low Noise Amplifier. LNA lowers the noise floor and allows viewing of very weak signals, but the reference, overload level, is also lowered. To get the best results with the LNA, set the internal attenuation ATT to zero. By adding attenuation, stronger signals can be measured on the input of the instrument, raises the reference level. The internal attenuation is zero by default. The reference level indicates the maximum input power level that Spectrum Compact can display without distortions. By adjusting it, the usable input power range is tuned. A higher reference level allows to view stronger signals, and a lower reference level has a lower noise floor, thus allowing to view weaker signals. In the unit submenu, the user can change the displayed units of the Spectrum Analyzer. There are seven logarithmic units available. And last but not least is the Scale submenu, which allows to adjust the maximum and minimum limits of displayed input power range in DBM and set an offset value in decibels for the vertical axis. For example, if an external attenuator is being used. If an external amplifier is used, the offset can also be set as a negative value. 